Let me show you what this bad boy can do. Welcome to another episode of Titanium Man Garage. And today, we're gonna be working on a front differential on a 2004 Polaris 500 ATP. Story goes with this thing. I don't know, the guy fr broke the front axle shaft. So he's got nothing in here but the hub and that's gonna have to get fixed. I also found that uh, when I put it in four wheel drive, the front wheel would just grab and it would jerk the handlebars out of my hand and just turn that way. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I couldn't believe the guy wanted $2,800 for this thing. Um, I have to go through the carb, it only runs with the choke open. The uh, throttle cable is um, kind of hanging up. As you turn the handlebars, the idle goes up. The engine starts racing, so I'm going to have to replace that. Now let me start this up, show you what it does. So I was almost ruling it out to be a ground issue. Differential does work, but when I go in reverse, barely works. So and the fact that that axle shaft is snapped off on the other side kind of makes me wonder what's going on in that front differential. So I'm going to start this thing up for you and show you what it does. Huh. 
Well, actually it looks like the front differential is good. It seems to be functioning properly, so the only issue was the brake was seized and getting hung up on the, the hub and pulling the wheel to the left. So the only thing that was really going on is I probably need to change the differential fluid. The uh, caliper is seized up, so it was just hanging up right here and pulling the steering to the left, which is actually good. Um, the unfortunate part is I was actually looking forward to tearing apart this front differential. For the longest time, you couldn't get parts for them. And here's the front differential right here. So for the longest time, you couldn't get parts for them unless you, you know, ordered the expensive uh, Polaris parts. And uh, some of them are uh, hard to get a hold of. I heard a lot of guys using uh, John Deere parts, the cage and the bearings. I also found out something interesting. So the part number on this differential is right up here. I think it's, um, I can't see it, but when I cross-referenced the number, I think the last four numbers were uh, 1433, something like that. This is a Polaris 700, a 2002. That is a 2003, 2004, early model 2004 build. Turns out the front differential is identical. So this is my uh, my parts unit. It's basically I could take the front differential out of here, out of the 700. It's 2002, and put it right in there, and it would bolt right up. Everything would match up. So I'm going to change the front differential fluid, and I'm also going to check my ground wires. Um, one point it wouldn't go uh, in four-wheel drive in reverse, which would be a ground issue, and sometimes it would. So uh, I guess the only thing I have to get now is a axle shaft, change the differential fluid, and this thing should be good to go. You know, I thought it was a differential at first was the brakes. The brakes were so crappy that uh, uh, I believe the the piston in here is seized up and the brakes are actually grabbing while the wheel is spinning. So the wheel would spin, it would hit a certain spot, grab and jerk the wheel this way. So that's why I have the uh, caliper off. Other than that, it ain't in horrible shape. I'd So I'm gonna give that a shot, see what happens. If it's the front differential and I have to replace it, I will shoot another video on that. So I hope you like my quick tip of the day and like always, till next time.